Hi guys, this is Melissa Zad from Into Boxing and I am delighted to be joined by none other than Pierce O'Leary. Pierce, how are you doing? I'm good, Melissa. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm really enjoying the kind of media day setup here. It's quite interesting. Have you managed to play any video games? Um, I ha no, I haven't. No, I'm not really into that game. Um, but yeah, I'm just absorbing up all the energy. It's fantastic being here. First time we're all like, seeing all the media around and it's exciting. Everyone's buzzing for Saturday. So you're not really into video games, the only game you're into is boxing, eh? It's only, only boxing for me. Um, so tell us, you know, obviously you're, you're going to be doing your 10th fight on Saturday night, is that correct? No, it was, uh, it was meant to be a 10 round for a title, but obviously the guy pulled out so we had to settle with an 8, an arm late round. But listen, it is what it is, things happen in boxing. I'm just excited to be, to be fighting on BT Sport, getting out there, and uh, especially the Frank Spanner. I was just going to say, you know, it's a fantastic platform for you to be on. Uh, do you feel that you're kind of, you know, just embracing it, taking everything in your stride, or do you feel nervous, excited? What are your thoughts and feelings at this time? I'm just absorbing it all in. I'm taking, taking it all in my stride. As I said, I feel, um, I said in many other interviews, it feels like I've been here multiple times. You know, I visualise it so, so much, and I believe I'm, this, is where, this is where I'm meant to be. It must be amazing to have that kind of self-belief, you know, where does that come from? It's from all my hard work, all my hard work, um, if, I don't, if I don't believe in myself, who, who will believe in me? So I've got to, so put all the hard work in, whatever you put into the book is what you get back out, and it shows on finally. Um, you know, obviously your nickname is The Big Bang, why is that, tell us? Because I Big Bang people. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I come I come look for the KO. I come get the I come get the KO. I don't go look for it. I come it, just, it comes to me and um, and that's why I want to finish the fight in style. Especially live in BT, all all the lads, people, women tuning in. Um, it's 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 amazing. It, they're all gonna know who I am after 16th. You know, it's really interesting because I was watching one of your knockouts the other day and I was thinking to myself because I knew obviously the outcome but I hadn't seen it. And I was watching it and I was going, when is it going to come? When is it going to come? And actually, the timing of it, it was against your opponent, uh, Zan... I can't remember his name. But either way... Yes. So I was watching it and I just found that the timing of that left hook was so well executed. And I'm just wondering, you know, in the moment when you're in the ring facing an opponent in that manner, what's going through your mind? Um. Well, he was he was another. Like he had actually more fruit to me. He was eight eight and I was seven KOs, a much better record. I think it was only it was only six seven maybe. Um, so yeah, it, listen, it, it was going against the odds going in there. It was a chance I took, and it, it paid off. It paid off. I knew once I was disciplined in the ring, listening to the corner, it'll come. It was only a matter of time. Or um, just from the years in the gym years. Fighting, listening all the time, being a, being a sponge, absorbing everything. It all just happens, Joe, you know, and you can't tell when it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. So, listen, that's what happened. I missed, I missed with the right counter with the left hook. I set him up. It's a beautiful thing, obviously, when you feel like you've left no stone unturned and you can kind of go in there with full confidence. Um, how long is it that you've been boxing? I've been boxing I think the last 14 years, since I'm seven years of age. I'm now 22. So, uh, so yeah, it's been a long, long time. Been a long time. Dedicate my whole life to it. I missed out on so much. Or um, it's only it's a short career. You have got to make most of it. I was just gonna say, you know, if you've been boxing since you were seven years old, then obviously you sacrificed a lot because obviously that's your that's your like from childhood through your teenage years, going into you know your just turning 18 and why you, all your friends must be out and partying and doing you know all sorts and I'm sure you've made lots of sacrifices yeah listen I missed out on family holidays family's occasions weddings and stuff like that just to stay home to train or else I could be in competition that, that month or whatever things it's life so I, I need to for what I need to, I need to be selfish for myself to get to get the, the next stage of uh, a chapter for boxing and after boxing so it is what it is. I need to just go out and deal with me. So what does it mean to you? What does boxing mean to you? What does winning mean to you? It's everything. Winning's everything. Boxing's in my life. We're really, really looking forward to seeing you perform on Saturday night. 
Um, what do you think is next for Pierce O'Leary? Um, toilet fruit. I want, I want big toilet fruit. So by the end of this year, I'm going to be wrap, have a um, couple of toilets wrapped around my waist and, and see where we go from there for the new year and hopefully bring boxing back to Dublin. Is there anybody in your division that you are eyeing up and thinking, oh, I'd like, I'd like a little shot with them? Um, there's a couple, but I won't mention. But if the, the toilets that I want, if they're there, obviously holding them toilets, then I'm going to fight them. So I'll be calling them out pretty soon. Thank you so much for your time, Piss. Thanks very much.